What happens when the guardians of truth become the victims of violence? When those who weave the fabric of our understanding of the world are silenced, not on the front lines of war, but in the seemingly peaceful landscapes of our everyday lives. This is the chilling reality faced by journalists worldwide, a reality starkly highlighted by the tragic demise of Pakistani journalist Arshad Sharif in Kenya. In the quiet of the night, far removed from the expected dangers of conflict zones, Sharif met his untimely end, a grim testament to the pervasive threats journalists face. His death, which occurred months ago, is still shrouded in an unsettling silence, a silence that not only betrays Sharif's memory, but also undermines the very essence of journalistic courage and duty. Consider the agony of Sharif's family, his grieving mother, his widow, his children. Their pain, intensified by the lack of accountability, mirrors the torment felt by families of journalists worldwide, silenced by the cruel hand of violence. Journalism is not a crime, Yet journalists are being slain in stark contradiction to the ideals of safety and freedom that should underpin our societies. This is not just a battle confined to the borders of Pakistan or Kenya. It is a global struggle, underscored by the disturbing silence from Pakistan's media community in the wake of Sharif's death. Is this silence born of fear, resignation, or a bleak acceptance that calls for justice may fall on deaf ears? Regardless of the reason, silence is a concession to fear, a tacit admission that the pen may indeed be weaker than the sword. But this is a concession we cannot afford to make. This is a call to arms for the global media community. Entities like the Committee to Protect Journalists and influential figures in the media sphere, such as Elon Musk, have a pivotal role to play. Their influence could reignite discussions and push for thorough investigations to ensure justice for Sharif and all silenced journalists. We, at the Foreign Policy TV and the Frontier Post, refuse to let Sharif's murder fade into the background noise of the news cycle. We are committed to seeking the truth, to ensuring that those responsible face the full weight of the law. We must not allow the killing of journalists to become a grim norm in our world. In an era where truth is often relegated to the sidelines, speaking out against the killing of journalists is more than a moral obligation. It's a battle cry for the soul of our civilization. We must rally, we must speak, and we must act until justice is unequivocally served. Silence is complicity, and we cannot, we must not, remain silent. In summary, the death of Arshad Sharif is a chilling reminder of the threats journalists face worldwide, not just in conflict zones, but anywhere power seeks to evade scrutiny. The silence surrounding his death is a betrayal of journalistic duty and a concession to fear. We must leverage the influence of global media entities and influential figures to reignite discussions, push for thorough investigations, and ensure justice for all silenced journalists. We cannot afford to remain silent. Our civilization's very soul is at stake.